These shots are from a 10 year old, the youngest Apex Predator on Apex Legends. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to introduce you to the youngest Apex Predator ever on mouse and keyboard, Thunder Meow. Today we're going to sit down with Thunder Meow and learn from a prodigy. I want to give you some insight, knowledge, but also learn about why you should be following Thunder Meow on his YouTube channel. Thunder Meow is the first MNK player at 10 years old to hit Apex Predator. Thunder Meow was coached under me and many others providing lots of guidance to his success. But every bit of this achievement is all Thunder Meow's because of all the amazing time, work, love, and passion that he put in. And it's something I will never ever take credit for. This is his success story. Let's introduce you now to Thunder Meow and dive right into some questions. I feel it's good because I'm always being judged for my voice or being called out that I'm using a voice changer or something. And people always, when someone's younger, they always look down and they're like, oh, this guy would be probably bad because he's younger. So I just like being proud to show the world that younger people or kids can do as much as they can. That's awesome. You did it at 10 years old. That's really hard. Yeah. So what would you say, what was the hardest part of hitting Apex Predator? Probably the fact that I couldn't go down. I always had to keep up the pressure. So what are ways that you avoided from going down? What are tips that you can tell somebody to avoid going down so they can rank up? I'd say probably most of the time you have to play as a team. You can't, you can't play solo. Teammates are one of the key things that you need. If you don't have teammates, you're stuck in a 1v3 situation. But most of the time you won't always win a 1v3. So teammates, sticking with teammates is definitely a key thing. That's good. That's a great tip. Now, what would you say would be the biggest tip that helped you improve the most? Probably coaching, like with you, Zir, Rambo, and everyone. I definitely feel like they helped me out. During those coaching sessions, was there, you could pick any, let's, let's say like top three. What was it like the top three? moments that were like oh that's huge that's that's impactful you don't have to pick any of mine either you can pick whatever moment that you felt was like oh i i learned so much in that moment mm, the number one was when wazir taught me to keep my hitbox low it always helped me win fights to know that i have to keep my hitbox lower and head glitches that's one of the main things and secondly i think Probably the aim trainers that I was assigned to definitely well, was, helped What me scenario out. helped out the most in terms of aim training? Probably like the spray ones or... Tracking scenarios? But, yeah. Okay, let's shift gears a little bit. What would you say is the easiest part of hitting Apex Predator? Mm, if anything I don't was easy. Think <laughs> there was an easiest part. I just think I really had to stick with my teammates and not go down in fights. There wasn't very much easy things about it. Having it be so difficult, do you still find Apex fun? Yes, I find Apex fun still. And honestly, what motivates you the most just to keep you going? Because I mean, those are long sessions, right? What, what kept yeah. you motivated to keep grinding? Probably that the fact that when I first started, I knew I had skill. My dad knew I had skill. I just have everyone to motivate me, so that's what pushed me to do what I did. When did you discover that you had skill in FPS games? Probably the first time I actually played Apex. I'm like in arenas and I dropped seven kills. That what? was on PC. So was was Apex your first FPS game? What was your first FPS game? It, yeah, it was Apex. I actually used to play on c console when I lived in another house and then once I moved to my new house I swapped keyboard and then just started playing because I thought it was fun and I liked that my dad played so I just played with him a lot and it became like a family thing essentially that's good yeah. that helps you keep motivated Mm -hmm. So outside of the game, because this, this is a lot of hours to put in for Apex Predator. I mean, that was playing every single day. 
What would be your outside tips for having somebody rank up? Like what exercise routine or what, or anything in your schedule, anything that helped you improve in game? So if somebody, anybody out there is trying to rank up, what would you tell them on how to rank up? Probably they should do aim trainers, maybe go into the firing range and maybe 1v1 with a friend. Maybe play an hour or two of Apex every single day. And then I think can start playing ranked. And then maybe, maybe get a coach, maybe. You know, a lot maybe. of people get nervous in those lobbies. Were you ever nervous in any of the Apex Predator lobbies? Um, yes, I was nervous. I was just scared of the fact that I could easily go down because everyone's aim is so much better, their game knowledge is much better, and their comms are much better, their angles that they get are much better, but... So what, what helped you relax and play better whenever you got into that mindset? What helped? Probably if I got a comfortable loadout, I think R301 and maybe a shotgun, I think. Is that definitely your favorite loadout, R301 paired yeah. with a... I guess now with the Mastiff being ground loot, do you like the fact that the Mastiff is ground loot? Mm, I think it's very chunky. Do you prefer yeah, the Peacekeeper? Not... Yeah. Nice. Definitely. What legend did you feel was best for you to get higher ranks? Bloodhound. I Bloodhound? Guess. Is that who yeah. you played the most during uh, your rank yes. session? Yes, yes. Well, for the second split. For this first split, I played many legends. What would I you say was your favorite? Horizon, Horizon, okay. Was that your favorite to play for the first split? Um, yeah. How stressful was it to wait every single day hoping that you would get pred? I didn't think about getting pred every day. I just knew that every day I'm getting better. And even if I don't get pred, I still know that I'm playing with the best and I'm able to experience this. That's that's great advice for people out there, especially because some people really obsess about the rank and they lose sight of other aspects like getting better or just practicing and knowing that you're meant to be there. Yeah. Would you ever do this well, again? Would you go for Pred again? Um, probably. If in a few months I'd probably solo queue and try to do something. Probably next season I would try to do solo queue to maybe diamond and then go to masters and then try bread so let's talk about your channel because everyone's going to be subscribing i shouted it out at the start of this video what kind of content can they expect on your channel um they can expect montages videos of me hitting bread are you going to be uploading any tips or any tip videos on your channel at all yeah we're actually starting to upload some tip videos in Valorant right now. Nice. So you hear that? Not only Apex, but also well-versed in other FPS games like Valorant. I might do an Overwatch one, maybe. I'm not too good at Overwatch, though. Good to diversify, right? Yeah. What do you think of the new season so far of Apex Legends? Season 15, in case anybody's watching this video in the future. I think season 15's pretty good. It's a new map. Cool. Character. She's definitely unique. Like, her wall is, whenever you go through it, is blinding, which is different from all the legends, which I kind of like. All right, so that wraps up all of my questions that I actually have for you. Is there anything else you want to add in, talk about, um, for everyone who's watching? I think the gifting system is cool. Are you going to be gifting out stuff? or you want, We can probably gift you some stuff, right? How about that? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I have 7,000 coins right now. I could probably do a giveaway or something. Look at that. So be sure to follow his channel. He might do a giveaway on his channel. Go comment on his most recent videos. Congratulate Thunder Meow for hitting Apex Pred at 10 years old, which is crazy. You got to hear some tips talking about from Thunder Meow about keeping calm under pressure, play with your team. I'll ask you that question, Thunder Meow. What do you think about playing with randoms on Apex Legends, or even ranking with randoms on Apex Legends? Um, I think sometimes with randoms, you 
sometimes get good teammates, you sometimes get bad teammates. And most of the time I think it's... Teammates are fine, but randoms, I mean, are fine. What do you but do I... whenever you run into a bad teammate? Or uh, maybe not as good of a teammate. What do you, what do, you do as an Apex Predator? You carry them, is that what you said? Yeah. How do you how do you carry somebody? So for somebody out there who's watching who needs to carry, how, how what's the best way to carry somebody who's not very good? So I think the best way to play good with randoms that are bad, I think you bait your randoms. You bait them. You use your randoms as, as a meat shield. If, if you're in a fight, you let your randoms go first, and then they die, and then you can trade them out. But you, because they're targeting them, and not you, and then you have free shots on that guy. Nice. That's a good advice. That actually really is good advice. I like that. Now, another question. What do you find most frustrating about Apex Legends? Probably the ranking system. What do you find it's frustrating about the ranking line. system? I'm in a diamond lobby and you get placed um, with top 10 preds in the world, which is definitely sometimes frustrating. That's difficult. I mean, I think a lot of people in the comment section will be able to understand and relate to that. Yeah. Now, on a positive, let's end on a positive note. As a final question, what would be your most favorite thing about Apex Legends? What do you love most about the game? Probably the unique abilities that each legend has and how you can use them to your advantage in fights. I just, the fact that you can use legends abilities, which is really cool. I don't, most games aren't like that. Like they're just first person shooters and you just shoot. But I think definitely the legends about Apex Legends is the most fun part. All right, so as we wrap up the video now, any final things you want to say to everybody? Because you're going to be the last thing people hear as we wrap up the video. Oh. Hmm. What should I say? Shout out to Wazir. Oh, so I'm Wazir, like, if you're watching this, I'll be sure oh. to put it in the description as well. Wazir's also very nice. All right, Thunder Let's Meow. See. Let's have you do the farewell and to everyone. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. You can do the sign Bye. Off. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks for watching. Go follow and subscribe to Thunder Meow. Bye.